Hey guys, Claire here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about all things Harry and Meghan. Prince Harry's Spare has won the inaugural choice recognition of the Audi's 2024 awards. Other winners include former First Lady Michelle Obama and U2 frontrunner Bono. Congratulations to the winners. SXSW has announced that Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, will be featured as a keynote speaker on Women in Media, alongside Katie Couric and Brooke Shields. I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited. SXSW takes place from March 8th to the 16th in Austin, Texas. I can't wait. And in other Megan-related news, Archetypes with Megan is now available on all podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts and Audible. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm willing to bet that Megan's latest project with Lemonada is probably going to be dropping sometime sooner rather than later. And while Harry and Meghan are on this side of the globe, minding their business, being booked and busy, Harry's family has been spotted hanging out with Jeremy Clarkson. You remember Clarkson, the guy who wrote the article saying that he'd like to fling excrement at Meghan while she walks the street undressed? So, cousin Zara and cousin Eugenie are hanging out with Jeremy. Jeremy, who also hung out with Camilla. And not only has Eugenie and Camilla been hanging out with Jeremy, they've also been hanging out with Piers Morgan. With family like that, honey, you don't need enemies. Moving on. And speaking of Piers, remember a few videos back, we quickly touched on Piers Morgan uncensored being axed and Piers essentially becoming a YouTuber. It seems that the talk TV ship is essentially being put out of commission. After two years of dismal ratings, talk TV is to close as a traditional TV channel and its content will be run online only. Couldn't have happened to a more deserving bunch. And speaking of which, Dan Wooden has officially been fired from GB News. Sorrows. Sorrows, prayers. Queen Consort Camilla is officially on break. Lord knows all that smiling and waving and sitting and taking photographs is absolutely exhausting. Now, I've seen so many members of the Royal Reporter Pack out and about trying to convince the masses that Queen Camilla has worked very hard and deserves a break. But not everyone is singing the same tune. What do you think? Queen Camilla is exhausted. She's absolutely exhausted, bless her. She's so exhausted, she's going abroad for some sunshine. She's exhausted because she has an army of servants and helpers, and she's had to complete 13 official engagements in over three weeks. Engagements like attending a memorial service, which must be hugely draining when you have to work at the memorial service for a whole 60 minutes. Seriously, you cannot make this stuff up. The hardworking people of the UK will vote with their feet and their ch -ch ballot paper. The royals, quite frankly, don't know how good they've got it. Camilla. Ha is is having a break because she's had she's had very grueling years. She's yes. had thirteen engagements. So, honestly, you laugh, Kevin. People are allowed well, to have a, they're allowed I'm... to take leave from their jobs. I know, but look, she's not working on a construction site or cleaning in a hospital. She's unveiled a couple of plaques to herself, hasn't it? I mean, that's what she's done, and she she doesn't even hand round the volvants. Somebody well, hands them to her at reception. Who... What does spare me this but... idea they are working incredibly hard? What? So, somebody opens the door at the back of the chauffeur-driven car. She right. pops in. She's driven with motorcycle outriders to somewhere. It's still a job, Kevin. You might you be a Republican, yeah. you might not want the royal family anymore. Be... 
Queen Camilla needs a break, you guys. She has had such a packed schedule since the announcement of King Charles' cancer diagnosis, since Prince William announced that he would be taking time off to care for Kate Middleton. Camilla has been going through it. The palace announced that she will be taking a well-deserved break this week after doing a whopping, I don't know if you're ready for this number, 21 engagements in 2024 so far. I mean, let's forget about a vacation. Give this woman a medal. That's right, Queen Camilla has done 20 royal engagements in 2024. Those include engagements that would have been on her schedule anyway, as she is the patron of numerous organizations, but also, yes, some that she's taken over from her husband, King Charles, as he's been undergoing cancer treatment. King Charles, by the way, has done 10 official royal engagements this year, even while undergoing cancer treatment. Heir to the throne, Prince William has done seven. We have no record of how much time is put in behind the scenes. Seven official royal engagements that got entered into the court circular. But you know who's not taking a break right now? Princess Anne. Princess Anne was the first royal to step outside in 2024, and I went to count up her royal engagements. I couldn't do it. I kept losing track. She's just done too many things, and I don't have the patience to sit there and count them all. I made it to 30, blowing Camilla's 21 royal engagements out of the water by January 17th. By the middle of January, Princess Anne had racked up more royal engagements than anybody in that family, and that included at least one overseas tour. On this quick visit to Sri Lanka, I'm pretty sure that Princess Anne packed 10 official engagements into like one or two days. I don't want to ask more questions about where's Kate, where's William, but it is weird to me that a 76 year old queen consort is the one picking up the slack here and not the next in line to the throne. With the current slimmed down monarchy, we are really starting to see the cracks appear. I mean, heck, there's already talk of Kate and Camilla being allowed to do royal duties that are typically reserved for people who are blood royals. This news is not linked to the health crises going on at all. It's sounds like it's more about the slimmed down monarchy causing panic alarms to go off at the palace. It is just a report, but this report says that Camilla and Kate could be able to give out royal honors, things that usually happen during an investiture, an OBE, an MBE, things like that. In the absence of King Charles, you have seen Princess Anne do the bulk of these in 2024, but Prince William did just do the last one, I think because Amelia Clark was getting an honor at this ceremony, if I'm honest. One thing that will get Prince William into the public eye is a chance to meet a celebrity. So lots of things go going on at the House of Windsor. None of them good, it sounds like. So while Charles is receiving treatment, Camilla is on vacation. Sophie and Edward are also on vacation. We got a glimpse of Kate, maybe in an effort to quelch all the conspiracy theories. Now this solitary photo of Kate and her mom has not had the desired effect so many conspiracy theories about Kate have been brandied about for the past week. In the last video, we talked about that. And I'm guessing that this one photo was supposed to say, look, she's alive. She's well, she'll be back to it when we said she will be. Knock it off with a conspiracy theory. But this very grainy, solitary photo <laughs> has set off a new set of conspiracy theories. I'm seeing people saying that's not Kate. I've seen some like very creative photoshops with Weekend at Bernie's. If you know, you know. I've seen people saying that that's not her, it's Pippa. <laughs> some people saying, what's going on with the facial shape? That's definitely not her. What are you hiding? You're lying to us. Where is Kate? We want to know more. It's insane seen one of the UK tabloids trying to say that the, the conspiracy theory surrounding Kate is coming from Harry and Meghan Stans, uh, or as Dan would, would say, the Sussex squad. But that's simply not the case. There are so many people around social media who are not royal content creators, who are not members of the Sussex squad, who are not Harry and Meghan fans, who generally do not pay attention to the British royal family who are saying, uh, what's, what's going on over there? This is weird. And not only did we see that grainy photo of Kate, we saw a photo of Anne's husband with a black eye. What is going on over there? But anyway, back to Kate. And not just regular schmegular folks are saying, mm -hmm. this, this, this doesn't seem right. You have people of the Australian media saying that they really don't think that it's Kate either. So nice try trying to blame it on Harry and Meghan or specifically Harry and Meghan fans. 
<laughs> and uh, the Princess of Wales has been spotted for the first time since oh. having abdominal surgery more than two months ago. But the image of Princess Catherine in a car with her mother in Windsor has done little to quell the rampant speculation about her health. The photos also sparked a fresh round of conspiracy theories that it was a wax figure in the no. car ding, or, ding, a, ding, ding. or a body double. Oh. That is not her. What? what? Really? How do you I don't know? think that looks like her. Could, think... it, could it be her sister, Pippa? Doesn't look like her. <laughs> Do you think it's a I wax, just don't a wax think that's double? Her, no, I don't know what. But you know, I just I don't mean, know. Why are we pouring over a grainy image and then speaking with? Because we haven't over... seen her since Christmas Day. No, no, Day. I get that, but we can't say that's not her. Like that. Oh yes, we can. I just did. Okay. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You look at it. I. You look at it. I realise how many times I've looked at her over the years. Okay. Yeah. And I just go, that doesn't look like her. Huh? Isn't okay. it interesting because the, the royal family isn't papped ordinarily. So it looks like they've forced yeah. her into the car. Get in the car. Driven her past the paps in order to put everyone's, <laughs> everyone's minds that at ease. That would have been Camilla. Get, yeah. get, get in the, the car. car. <laughs> get in the car. Charles, she won't get in the car. <laughs> what should I do? Now, when it comes to the Kate Middleton discourse, personally, I don't particularly care. And I don't mean this in a mean sort of way. I'm not a big fan of Kate, but I feel like everyone is entitled to a certain measure of privacy. Because before you are fill in the blank with whatever title you are, you're a person and we all deserve that. For me, personally, it's always been about the treatment and coverage of Kate versus Meghan. Royal reporters, the UK press, and the royal fans did not care one iota when Meghan was going through her mental health crisis. In fact, when she was pregnant and most vulnerable, I feel like the attacks intensified. They didn't care when she was pregnant. They didn't care when she lost a child. These people have consistently treated Meghan like she's less than a human being. When we can see in the way this has been handled by the palace, they go out of their way and are able to offer crazy amounts of protection to Kate. Now we have the conspiracy theories running rampant, but there's a certain level of control from the palace when it comes to what they're gonna give and the sort of support that she was given. That was not afforded to Megan. That was never afforded to Megan. And in her darkest hours, instead of offering her support, they would leak to people like Valentine Lowe, royal reporter, about Megan's struggles. No support, but you can spread the information to royal reporters. We asked our man in the know. I'm Valentine Lowe. I write about the royal family for the Times. Her describing the fact that she had some thoughts. I knew that she'd had a very bad time in the summer of 2019. I, I knew there'd been tears, I knew that she'd been in a state of distress. I even actually knew about that conversation she had with the head of HR. So the very clear differences in the sort of support and protection that one member of the British royal family gets versus the other is what I focus on. I have royal reporters like Rebecca English saying that the conspiracy theories surrounding Cade are deeply sinister when Rebecca English has consistently amplified and talked about all sorts of deeply sinister things when it comes to Megan, not an ounce of care. You have royal reporters like Chris Ship who are saying that Kate deserves privacy, right? But no privacy for Megan. You have members of the press saying that, well, this conspiracy theories need to stop. When it's about Kate, but conspiracy theories run rampant when it's about Megan. It's the selective outrage, the hypocrisy. That is what bothers me. And that is why I like to have these conversations. Now, speaking of royals being protected, do you guys remember, was it last year that Prince of P was trending on Twitter? And Ryan Eyre put out a particular tweet that ended up going viral. Turns out that the palace requested that Ryan Eyre remove the tweet or make a public apology. So this again proves that the palace is very selective in the things that they take offense of and who they protect. <laughs> so um, I, w I won't explain the content. I'll let you maybe figure it out. But if you Google Ryan Eyre and Prince William, you'll get to see what content was put out there. Um, 
And we were like, oh, we have to talk about this, yeah. but we can't talk about this. Yeah. How do we do it? So anyway, went out, completely exploded. There was nothing there that was a risk. We, we mitigated enough where legally or anything it would have been an issue. And it was, you know, really funny joke. We get a call from the palace um, telling us to take it down or we want a public apology. And I get a call going, Michael, what have you done? I went, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, it was that, uh, oh yeah, Kensington Palace called and arrested for move a tweet or they're looking for a public apology from our CEO or a statement to explain. I went, okay. And I said, well, what do you want to do? I said, well, we, we have to take it above and said, okay, see what they say. And at this stage, we got what we needed for it. Got loads of reach, millions of reach. People were taking screenshots and sharing it. And we said, we know we're not going to apologize for it because we haven't done anything wrong. So they were like, I right, just take it down. And went, yeah, okay, let's do it. So we deleted it. So we called them, we said we take it down. And they're like, oh, thank you very much. See you later. So Kensington Palace can get Ryanair to remove a tweet that didn't even name Prince William. It just said William. They can get Tatler to remove contents from their Kate the Great article. They can complain and shut down rumors about Kate getting Botox. But Megan got zero protection, no support. That family. Kate Middleton has been spotted for the first time since her hospitalization. And we can thank TMZ for breaking this news. They shared that she was spotted being driven by her mother, Carol, near Windsor Castle. And do you guys notice the photo cred for this? It's backgrid. Now, whenever there's a picture of Harry and Megan and the source is backgrid, y'all go crazy saying it was a pap walk. They called the paparazzi on themselves. And I don't always believe that to be the case, but in this particular situation, that's exactly what I think happened. This truly feels like the palace called the paps up to get this shot. Since the internet has been going absolutely bananas with conspiracy theories about Catherine and where she is. So in case you've been living in a cave since Christmas, Catherine had surgery back in January and the palace issued a statement saying that she would not be doing any public duties until after Easter. They also said that they would be making no further statements unless there's anything major to report. So we didn't see her all of January and all of February because she was recovering. But the internet went absolutely wild over the last few weeks with all this speculation as to where she is, she's gone missing, and just so many crazy conspiracies that it literally forced a spokesperson for Catherine to come out last week and give a short little statement saying that she's fine and recovering well and that their initial statement still holds. And now we have this picture. So yeah, to me, this very much feels like the palace is doing damage control. They're sending her out there. We're getting a picture of her so everyone can settle down and see she's alive and well. And hopefully all of the hoopla can settle down. Happy Monday. You know the drill. Come at me if you like. I don't care. William seems to have had an agreement with the press over the last few years. And that agreement was as long as he would feed the press details of the terrible crimes that Harry and Meghan had uh, committed, they would leave him alone. Well, guess what? They're not leaving William alone anymore. This is repeated stuff from the land of X, Twitter, whatever we're calling it now, I don't even know, about William's affair. And every day on X slash Twitter, affair, the P word, where's Kate? Every day, the trending things on Twitter are about this whole scenario. The knives are not only out for William, they're being very much sharpened. Let's see what happens over the next few weeks. Looky, looky here. Look who's made an appearance in the land of the living. I mean, I find it quite funny now that the entire world has been wondering where Kate is all of a sudden, there's photos of Kate popping up. I mean, the entire time Kate has been MIA, you couldn't find a picture any daggone where. Now that everybody's been wondering where she is, whether she's getting a BBL, is she having some type of for real surgery? I mean, now all of a sudden Kate has popped up. The question now becomes, who has really been calling back grid? Y'all like to say Mother Sussex be calling back grid, but it looks like the royal family has been making some calls of their own. Y'all have a good daggone day. They are hiding something, and you cannot convince me 
this is her. The royal family cannot fool us all. The Duchess of Cambridge has finally made an appearance. If you recall, we have not seen her since she's been hospitalized earlier this year. She even canceled all of her engagements. Well, the princess has seemed to be spotted on the passenger side of her automobile with her mother at the wheel. I mean, can this footage be any grainier? It's almost like those UFO photos or those Bigfoot photos that they say, here they are. I wonder what rumor forced the royals to have someone coming out looking like Kate. I heard Katie Holmes is looking for work, especially since Tom is getting ready to cut off the child support this year. The pictures look like Katie Holmes to me. Or could it possibly be her sister? Take a closer look. They look very similar. Because when did Kate's face get so full? Now, I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. And I don't actually give a f about the royal family. So this isn't a topic that I would necessarily think about ever. But... Who is this woman? I couldn't even actually tell you what this woman's name is, but I can tell you that we're looking at two different people. I actually may not be completely sure of what this woman's name is, but I do know that we are looking at two different people. We know, we know it. I know it, you know it, we all know it. And what a topic of conversation. If we are being duped by the royal family and they're trying to pass off another woman as this other woman, Okay, so these are just some random thoughts that I'm having. So watching the British royal family in the last week or so, like, I think that they are absolutely 100% trying to self-sabotage. Because, like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, none of this makes any sense. When we first learned about Kate being in the hospital, you know, they said that William was going to take off work. That he was going to be by her side. That he was going to be with the children, okay? And that is why he couldn't work. And what we've seen William do is be erratic. And essentially, he's been telling us, I'm only going to do the engagements that I find entertaining and nothing else. Because there's no other way to explain the engagements that he's been picking and choosing to go to. For instance, if he's kicking it with celebrities, oh, baby, <laughs> he's going to be there. If he shows up at the BAFTAs so he can try to outshine his brother, even though this was a massive fail, he's going to be there. But his godfather's memorial service, the same godfather whose funeral he couldn't be bothered to attend, personal matters. By the way, if he has not at this point made enemies of that family of the greek royals i don't i don't know what's going on like i promise you these people are counting for this man's downfall because the absolute disrespect in this but again he doesn't go to this but then a few days later he's out here doing this again only doing the things that he wants to do and if this is going to be which it absolutely is going to be a reflection of what he looks like as king yo the uk is in for a bumpy ride not to mention kate okay now we know in the last week or so it's been hashtag where's kate has gone viral and we got a message from the from kensington palace that was pretty snarky and essentially was like we told y'all we were only gonna say what we were gonna say build a bridge and get over it they even managed to pull in some traditional media as a way to admonish the public and clearly this didn't work because nobody cares what these folks have to say the internet will forever and always be undefeated and if there is one thing that the internet hates is when you play in their face and act like they're stupid because baby they will find out all of the tea do you hear what i'm saying but after a week of kate going viral with bbl memes and a bunch of jokes we then get this very strange photo op from her which at this point everyone has seen now isn't it just oh so convenient after the week that kate went viral all of a sudden we get this picture and what's more interesting to me is that somehow they want the public to believe that they managed to houdini this woman in and out of a hospital without a single soul seeing her including any civilians not a single person saw kate this entire time and somehow she's just randomly taking a drive with her mother around windsor castle and they managed to get this photo 
by the way, Backgrid, isn't that the same agency that they swear up and down Megan and Harry use? But I guess it's okay in this instance. And then we get this weird grainy photo as if this is some like 1996 tabloid picture that was plucked from obscurity. And it's like, who believes in 2024 that people's phones and or cameras are taking pictures like this? Like this was deliberately altered, but they stay playing in people's faces like folks don't realize this. Now, to be fair, I did steal this next picture from my girl, Miss Sussex, if you please, Paige. She says she found it off Twitter. I didn't feel like looking for it on Twitter, but here it is. So you have this photo, right, where someone has tried to clean up the picture some. And now we have even more questions than answers because you have a good number of people who do not believe for a second that this is Kate. I have seen everything from an AI photo to a doll to a Kate lookalike. People even said this was Kris Jenner or Caitlyn Jenner, which <laughs> y'all are doing too much. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is supposed to make people feel better about Kate's disappearance this picture of a woman who is questionable whether or not this is Kate now to be fair I do kind of think this is Kate not that I feel like Kensington Palace wouldn't use a stand-in but I have been trying to figure out what in the world would cause a 10 to 14 day hospital stay that's an abdominal surgery that's going to take four months to recover and what I've kind of come up with either is like lupus or Crohn's Something that they do some type of abdominal surgery where they're doing rest on her gut, that she has some type of ostomy. And, you know, a lot of times they do your, use steroids and she may have like moon face, which is something that can happen with prolonged use of like these type of steroids like prednisone. But at the end of the day, this is not going to stop the public from talking. Now people think that you're lying to them. Now people think that you're trying to pull the wool over their eyes. And the internet is about to get messy. And I hope Kensington Palace is ready for that. It's Monday the 4th of March, and I sound like a newsreader. Uh, this is the UK media talking about our favourites, Harry and Meghan. GB News, Meghan Markle's interactions with Prince Harry quite unusual. Considering they got a whole headline because they were holding hands, and apparently holding hands is not okay, then... Mm. Quite unusual. The Mirror. Harry and Meghan, permanent return to UK and royal family is possible, expert says. Expert, I very highly doubt. And why are we repeating this story over and over and over again? It's very copy and paste. Daily Record. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry warned against reaching out to Kate Middleton after fresh statement. <laughs> the Daily Express. It's just ridiculous. Royal Family Live. Prince Harry, Meghan Markle's Archie and Lilibet hope dashed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced the official titles of their children almost a year ago. A royal expert expert looks back and assesses the couple's decision and thoughts behind it this is today's date still yeah the daily mail megan hit slopes again duchess enjoys snow trip with her model friend kelly mcgear the, the, blah 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 when i saw this classic on twitter slash x megan marco enjoys ski trip with gal pals despite not being able to ski herself and the tweet she traveled there by plane despite not being the pilot herself and the scum missed the mark. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made key mistakes which destroyed attempt to win over America and led to South Park mocking. South Park mocks everything, just FYI. We're seeing a lot and we're going to be seeing a lot more of this. Meghan Markle's one word response to seeing Kate Middleton. We're going to see a lot of Meghan coming into the, the frame because of Kate Middleton's situation. And again, copy and paste job by the mirror. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry urged to avoid Kate Middleton considering they're not in the same country. Hmm. Here we go again. Daily Mail. Is Harry and Meghan's US smooth offensive stalling? Make it make sense. Americans are put off by the Sussexes' endless moans and they don't like... Royal expert. Here we go. I know what you're saying. Matt, that sounds like an old story. It is an old story, but it was updated 4th of March today. And here we have the scum proving the point. Uh, even when Harry and Meghan are not involved in this story whatsoever, we'll put them in the headline anyway. So apparently Kate Middleton's uncle is going into Celebrity Big Brother tonight. So we have this. Kate Middleton's family furious. Gary Goldsmith has signed for Celebrity Big Brother, but Harry and Meghan should be scared. Really? Really? Of what? Of what exactly? He could be silent for the whole three weeks and the media would still be doing what they do. And the mirror... Again, proving the point. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry ditch romance in unseen date night snaps. And I'll leave you with this. The real reason Harry and Meghan are in all those articles. You, you need a job. No, I don't want a job. Well, I know. It's so much work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you... I know, I'm so tired from work. I don't want to do that.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell.